Hello, this is Darren Lyle. I'm going to quickly go over some techniques for modeling shape keys in Blender. Here's my character, the kid, going through uh, a couple of the shape keys that I've already done, and I'm going to begin here working on the brow. Um, as I do this, I've got a mirror in front of me, or I did when I was doing this. Um, it helps immensely. So don't start trying to do f facial shapes without a mirror. Um, and even with a mirror, <laughs> I'm certainly not saying that these are perfect, but uh, um, you get the general idea here. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go over, uh, I'm going to do the brows, and then I'm going to do a couple of uh, f phonemes mouth shapes for I think A, E, and F. Um, and then I'm going to show you uh, a few tricks in terms of uh, vertex groups that help immensely when modeling these kind of things. And um, at the end I'll show you a, a fun little trick using uh, combining shape keys to create a new one. It, it makes life a lot easier. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm going to begin I'm beginning to create a new vertex group. <coughs> vertex groups are great because you don't have to <coughs> continually select the same group of faces and vertices every single time. You can just select the group <coughs> click select and boom you've got it. Um, what I did while I was modeling this character was I had the small amount of foresight to create a vertex group for, for the tongue, for the lower teeth, the upper teeth, the inner mouth, things like that, but I failed to do one for the jaw. So I've created one for the jaw and here I'm trying desperately to figure out why it's affecting the upper lips and I finally figured out that I had the proportional editing on. Um, so now that I've got that jaw vertex group I was able to select it all, rotate it down and back a little bit as I work on the uh, phoneme for E uh, or is this A? Uh, it, it's A. <laughs> <laughs> the phoneme for A. And modeling shape keys is just like modeling a character. It's slow, futzy work. Um, and it's sometimes difficult to get it to look like he's actually, the character's actually saying something. Um, so, as I said, I use a mirror. So if the video pauses periodically and I'm not doing anything, picture me holding a mirror in front of my face and scrunching up my face and twisting my nose and mouth and eyes in all kinds of strange directions. Uh, So now I'm going to work on the E. This is an, a nice trick here. If you select um, some, some edges, switch to center it cursor, and then scale it down, you can kind of pull the mouth out um, or in. Um, and it and it kind of pulls it out in line with the what would be the facial muscles that would actually do the pulling. Um, you can do this with the eyes and the brows too. It's a it's a helpful trick. Here I am doing it again. This time sh pushing things pushing the mouth back inward.
Okay, moving on. Now I think I'm going to create the F, and so this is when I, <laughs> I was picking up the mirror and trying to figure out how does the mouth move when we say F. So let's see how I did here. Once again, select use the jaw, lower jaw, and teeth vertex group. Helps a lot. And for the F, the chin seems to go down a bit back a little the lip tucks under the back under the uh, front teeth and then the the chin protrudes out just a little bit once uh, the, the lip is is there so So there's the F. Now here's the trick uh, I was talking about, about combining shape keys. What I've got is I've got the action editor open here. And I'm going through trying to find a combination of using the uh, uh, sliders, a combination of shape keys that'll get me closest to an O. <coughs> and then I just add a, a, sh a shape key and then continue modeling from there. Um, it wasn't quite what I wanted it, but it, <coughs> it got me close pretty quick. And as you continue on doing more distinct and detailed shapes, not just for, say, A, but ah, <coughs> not just for O, but U, um, E, and E, eh, you can begin to combine these uh, shape keys to get you, you know, 75% of the way there. So you're not having to remodel it every single time. And there we go.